Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday, everybody. Come on in. Grab your chair. Grab your drink. Drop us in. How's everybody on this Monday morning? Hey, Vicky. Hey, Miss Jen. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sue Ann. Happy Monday, Virgie. Hey, Vicky. How's it going? Hi, Gracie. Hello, Miss Cindy. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, LaShonda. How's everybody today? Did we survive the weekend? Good morning, Dawn. Thank you. Is that not awesome? My husband found that um, saying on a t-shirt. And he says, you need to make this to a sign. So I sent it to Miss Chris over at Created by Mama. And she made us this cute little sign. Good afternoon, Miss Connie. Hello, Beth. Are you back home? Thank you for sprinkling the charm, Cindy. Hello, Amanda. Tired for a Monday. I agree, Miss Lisa. I am okay, Jen. <clears throat> Hanging out. But it says sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat. Hello, Miss Tina. So this came from Created by Mama on Etsy. So we're going to do some yellow and orange mesh. And we have our 18-inch frame. I still haven't 100% decided on the ribbons. I know I want to do black and orange. And I'm going to put orange on the top. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do yellow polka dots. Vacation Thursday and Friday. Awesome. Thanks, Vicki. And yellow gingham. Which one I like better? Hello, Miss Lisa. Hello, Glenn. I'm from Rushville, Indiana. Welcome in. Where are you going on vacation, Miss Lisa? And then I have black and orange Swiss dot. So I've got lots to play with and just trying to decide which one I like are orange polka dots. I know black. That's for sure. That's for sure. Everything else is kind of up in the air. We're going to wing it today. Had a good weekend. Got to see at least eight of our grandchildren. Eight out of 19 grandchildren. Awesome, Miss Virgie. That was a beautiful weekend. Hello, Lorraine. How's it going? Raleigh, North Carolina for the weekend. Polka dots all day, every day. All right, Miss Dawn, we got polka dots going on. We got some polka dots. Did we? Nope, Miss Cindy, we got half of it done. We will finish the other half this Thursday in the group. Hello, Miss Kathy. Back and recovering through Jack Lad. I bet, but I, you have to tell us all about your trip, Miss Beth. Thank you, Miss Tina, for rolling out the sprinkles, out the charms. Hello, Deanna. Yes, Miss Virgie has lots of grandchildren. Yes, Miss Glenna, it is. Definitely, definitely is Luke Bryan's song. But I have to say, I didn't get it from a song. I did get it from a t-shirt, of all things. A t-shirt. Isn't that great? Hello, Mr. Allen. So we're going to go ahead and set up our sign and go ahead and get our cable mounts on. So we're just using our sand and block to rough up our metal. Good afternoon, Karen. And our E6000 glue. Hello, Edna. Welcome in. And then we got our one inch cable mounts by 3F, 3M, not 3F, 3M. It's one of those Mondays. 
everybody make sure you're sprinkling out the charms for me we are 20 follows away from 3,000 20 away so if you haven't hit that follow button make sure you hit that follow button for me I would greatly appreciate it Facebook like those follows if you follow me they think yeah I'm a little bit puts me a little higher in their algorithm show me out a little bit more Hello, Miss Beverly. Hi, Miss Amy. I am wonderful today. How are you? Yes, Miss Connie. Almost. Woo -woo. We're 20 away. I did not make it, Miss Glenna. No, ma'am. I do not have the equipment to make signs. I have a lady on Etsy that makes custom at createdbymama.etsy.com. And she made this one for me. Thanks, Lorraine. Hello, Leanne. Welcome, welcome in. So being difficult. We have three more sleeps and three more early wake-ups this week. Woohoo! And the kid will be out of school on Thursday. I am so excited. No more 6 a.m. wake up calls. Then it'll change to 8, but 8 is so much better than 6. Good afternoon, Pam. Thank you, Glenna, for sprinkling. I appreciate it. So if we got anybody new here, please shout out and say hello. We love to welcome everybody new in. My name is Vindy, and I am in Halton City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. Now we have an 18-inch Dollar Tree frame. We're going to do 10 on the outside, 8 on the inside. So we're going to do them every 5 inches apart on the eight outside, and that'll get us a 10 on the uh, outside. So we're just going to start at a crossbar. It doesn't matter which one. Just pick one and run with it. And we're going to tie our Chanel stem on the middle wire. I have not, Miss Connie. I had a special order wreath this morning. I had to finish up and get that out in the mail this morning. So I had to do that first thing. Thanks, Glenna. Hello, Phyllis. Phyllis is from Zangville, Ohio. Welcome, Phyllis. Did you go, Miss Connie? Do they still have anything good? Did you get <clears throat> Hobby Lobby's got patriotic? 40% off this week. Woo-hoo! Still gotta be up early just to talk with me. I'll still have to get up early. It's just not 6 a.m. early. Still has to get up and go to work and be there by 7.30, so. Well, I'll still be up by 7, that's for sure. And then starting June 6th, he'll have, kid has next week off. He has one week off, and then he goes back and starts football um, conditioning for the summer. And that's from 9 to 11 every morning. After showing my b rib on my own first page, I had someone wanting me to make a game for her. A night before Christmas. Woo woo! You can do it, Lorraine. Congratulations. That's awesome. Is that your first sale, Miss Lorraine? Good afternoon, Donna. I am wonderful. How are you? Excited. It's the last week of school. My kid's so good. I just have to brag on him. He texted me at lunchtime today. He says, Mom, can I go volunteer? I said, go volunteer for what? He says, coaches want volunteers to go help out at an elementary school for field day. So can I go volunteer tomorrow? I'm like, absolutely. You go volunteer 100%. I will never stop you from volunteering. 
Mindy, I can spend some money at Hobby. <laughs> uh, Miss Annie, me too. I can spend buggies full. Unfortunately, but I can't. That's awesome. Everybody, congrats, Lorraine. She got her first sale. That is too cool. Congratulations. Tiny went and picked up some stuff at Hobby Lobby. The Patriotic Chanel stamps. They've not gotten them in yet. Did you get some glitter balls, Miss Connie? Miss Betty, thank you for passing the charms. Hello, Miss Connie. Welcome in. Good afternoon to you. Hello, Kim. We are putting our eight Chanel stems on the inside. Dollar Tree frames have eight sections. So we are putting the inside on the middle of every section. I'm excited for you, Lorraine. That's awesome. That makes you addicted to our world. You just think you're addicted when you're making them, but then you start selling them. Ooh, that gets you so much more addicted. No, I did not, Mr. Allen. I know packages yet. They had a lot of them. Ooh, Connie, awesome. I'm hoping mine still has a lot. Thank you, Donna, for sprinkling the charms. I appreciate that. Thank you, Phyllis. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks so much. I got no packages today. Nothing. It's been quiet. I can spend a lot at the Dollar Tree. Yep, I can do that too. But you know what, Tina? I think you've got me beat. I think you spend more than I do. Just saying. Hello, Mindy. Welcome in. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Oh, we are going to grab our Melissa and Doug <clears throat> paper roll dispenser. And this is what we're going to use to cut our mesh. It's by Melissa and Doug. And it's a tabletop paper roll dispenser. You can get that on Amazon. I know I got nothing. Hubby rolls his eyes at me when he sees Hobby Lobby bags. <laughs> yep. Hey, Cindy. Hello, Miss Jennifer. Hello, Carla. Welcome, welcome. I was surprised it was not really busy. Yeah, me too. But it is a Monday, so that could make a difference. Hello, Michelle. No, Michelle, we've got eight on the inside and ten on the outside. So, eighteen total. And we had somebody sprinkle into the... My subscriber group, Miss Janine, said she saw a photo posted that somebody had used this Melissa and Doug paper mesh rope and got two of them and then glued them right on top of each other so they could do a double roll of mesh at the same time, two rolls at the same time and make it easier instead of just having one floating behind it. So I thought that was a pretty genius idea, so we're going to have to try that. I'm going to need one of those to make me a double holder. Ten on the outside, Miss Sharon. You've seen Tina spend over three. Those that I hadn't done that. You're welcome, Miss Sharon. <coughs> Excuse me. Amanda, hello. New Year. Been wanting to learn how to make race. Well, welcome in, Miss Amanda. Grab you a drink and a chair and have a seat. Hang out and chat with us. And you can grab you a pen and a piece of paper. And I'm going to give you exact measurements on how to get these done. Hello, Brenda. You did that, Beth? You made a double stack? How does it work for you? I don't know why now that I got... <laughs> now that you got the 18 is done, yep. 
Yep, yep. Everybody tell Amanda hello. Welcome her in. Where are you watching from, Amanda? All right, we're going to cut this orange at 8, 19 inches. And we are going to cut 18 pieces of them. It's awesome. Oh, Beth, speaking to my heart, I'm going to have to do that. This is the Fisker's Rotary Tool. It's the one I like the best. It's the 60 millimeter. It comes from Hobby Lobby. And they're half off still every other week. But you can get them at Walmart, Amazon, and um, Michael's, Joann's, all that fun, fun stuff. Miss Mindy, can we do a scroll up, scroll down if I get to 150 viewers? Absolutely, we can. We get to 150 viewers, we'll get a prize going out. Woo -woo. Get them, pass them sprinkles out, pass them charms. Let's get 150 in here today. Amanda is from Florida. Well, welcome, Amanda. My name is Mindy, and I am in Halton City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. I do come live every Monday through Thursday at 1.30 Central Standard Time. And then we do Friday Night Lives at 8 p.m. It's the Fiskers I bought too, and it's very... Yes, Lorraine. It'll cut your fingers too, just, just saying. Don't ask me how I know that. Hello, Miss Sherry. My kids hate when I'm saying I'm going to Dollar Tree. <laughs> we only came for one thing. Yeah, mine do the same thing. Mine now stay in the car and say, are you buying something heavy? If you're buying something heavy, I'll come in. But otherwise, I'm staying in the car. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Faye. Welcome in. Shaylin, hello. Oh, Shaylin's first time watching. Everybody, welcome Shaylin in. Where are you watching from, Miss Lorraine? We are so glad to have you here. Pull up a chair and grab you a drink and hang out and chat with us while I work on this cute little wreath. Modern. Awesome, Amanda. I am so glad. That is what is 100% wonderful about this group here. My lovely ladies that like to come on and hang out with me. They're so generous with their time. And come and chat with me. They are so very welcome. And we like everybody to be involved. Everybody to feel welcome. Hello, Sue Ann. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Dorinda. You're not too late, Maria. We're still cutting mesh here. It's only late when I hit the finish button. And I go away for the day. That's the only time it's late. Means I replaced too. Hello, Carol. Happy Monday. Martina's watching from Indiana. Maddie, we sold eight this weekend so it wasn't good as i was hoping but again we beat last year so we will be okay with that number because it beat last year's hi Derza. oh she's still going miss patricia how are you this afternoon i saw that she came on I was busy doing lunch for the hubby and all that fun stuff. I couldn't sit and watch. I'll have to go back and watch the replay. We are going to do another 18 of the yellow at 19 inches. Hello, Melissa. And if anybody's here is new, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We welcome any and all questions. 
And it doesn't matter if I've answered it one time or three times or ten times. I'll still answer it again. I'll show it, answer it, redo it, whatever you need done. She's all wrapped up and oh, awesome. I need to go watch her replay. Hello, Kim. It's okay. You can be late. Hello, Miss Cindy. Welcome. Dorothy, welcome. Look at all these beautiful smiles today. Did she do good? Look at it. She did good from the first one. I watched her first one and she did awesome. Me too. It's like a, it's not a light yellow. It's like a sun gold yellow. So on a summer reef, this is going to be green, like the sun. The sun. And that came from Amazon. It is a Melissa and Doug paper roll dispenser. And if you look at my home page, um, there's a, a pin post right at the top that tells you the tools that I use. There's an, a direct link straight to it on Amazon. Jalen, I'm in the Halton City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. Peggy's New Year. Welcome, Miss Peggy. Everybody tell Peggy hello. We're doing a deco mash wreath. Tamika, my friend. You went to Dollar Tree Friday and found, ooh, found some balls. Awesome. It fell on the floor. Oh, my gosh. You said that. Are you okay? Oh, no. Hello, Kelly. Welcome in. Can I see my first pipe clearing on my wire? Miss Dorinda, I start at any bracket. It doesn't matter which one. So just pick a bracket, and that's where I will start. And then I do five inches from there. Miss Ruth is first time watching from Panama City, Florida. Welcome, Miss Ruth. Everybody tell Ruth hello. It's her first day. We're so glad you're here, Miss Ruth. Thank you for hanging out. I need angel wings for customer. Not sure who has them with a patriotic sign for a baby boy, please. Uh, Miss Tina, don't you have angel wings? Mr. Allen, you still got angel wings? As we know, Miss Tina can make you a sign with a patriotic little boy. I just don't know if he has angel wings. Dorothy, first time from Longview, Texas. Woo woo! Texas in the morning. Everybody tell Dorothy hello. Give her our great big Texas welcome. Got my easy tails on Friday. All right, Lisa. Usually you'll have to let us know what you think. Easy tails are awesome. Tamika, how you feeling? Tina, I know you're still on here. I've seen you. Are you looking for a wooden angel wing or are you looking for a metal one, Cindy? Oh, thank you, Beverly. Isn't that awesome? I was so proud to be able to make that for her. So proud. I'm so excited she asked me to do that for her. Hello, Anna from Phoenix, Arizona. How's my friend today? Somebody tag Miss Tina. I know where she went. Or Alan. There he is. There's Tina. Alan is adding more for you. There you go, Miss Cindy. I knew Alan had angel wings. Hello, Paula. This is the sign that we're using for everybody that's come in. 
8 inch recipe is 18 Chanel stems, 18 pieces of each color of your mesh. Cut it 19 inches, Dorinda. Good afternoon, Amanda. Hello, Deanna. Awesome, Miss Anna. I'm glad you're doing well today. Dorothy's working on a patriotic wreath. Awesome. I'll let my hubby order me some signs this last time. He came up with some interesting combinations. But this sign is one of his, so I cannot complain. He did a good job. Thanks, Jesse. We're going to start with our yellow on the bottom. Yes, ma'am. It's a summer wreath. Waterman Soft is 50% off today. Thank you, Miss Sheila. If everybody's looking for some goodies and can't find it, go check out Scott at Waterman's Law. But make sure you are pricing all the products and make sure you're getting the best price. Because sometimes even if it's on sale, doesn't mean it's the best price. How do you decide the length of the ribbon for an 18 inch? Lisa, it depends on the look I'm going for. If I want to see more ribbon, then I will go with the longer tail. And if I want to see more mesh and a good combination of mesh and ribbon, then I go for less. So it all depends on what you're wanting out of the design on how long you make them. I like to see a good combination of mesh and tails. So that's why I use the 12 inch on the 18 inch frame. During the recipe, we've got 18 inch frame. We've got 18 Chanel stems, two full rows of mesh, cut at 18 pieces of each color at 19 inches long. Can make a gun theme wreath. Stacy, message me. Because I have one that um, has the Second Amendment on the sign. And then Miss Tina has just made some. Very cool Second Amendment sign, so we can definitely do that. What type of mesh? It's Deco Poly Mesh, Miss Lori. All right, we are going to do the Woodland Ruffle. So we're going to fold it in about an inch, and we're going to roll it three times. So we got one, two, three, and then we're going to clip it, and then we're going to flip it, and then we're going to roll it in on the other side in an inch. Roll it one, two, three. Now your rolls need to look like a taquito. Not a burrito, but a taquito. So we need little curls, not big ones. So now we're gonna push with our thumbs and we're gonna pull the mesh toward us with our fingers and scrunching it right up the middle. And we're gonna make a cute little butterfly. Oh, you like the polka dots? Yeah, I think we're gonna put the polka dots in this one, Miss Paula. 19 inches, Jesse. And now you make a decision. At this point, you need to decide if you want a bigger, poofier wreath or a more thin, flatter wreath. I like poofy, so for poofy, we go curls up. And if you want flatter, you go curls down. And you already see how much flatter that is versus that. So we're gonna go curls up and we are gonna put these horizontal right into every Chanel stem. So we're just gonna press that right into the frame and tie our Chanel stem a couple of times around on there. And we're gonna do that all the way around the outside. Jen, this came from thereshop.com. One, two, three. Clip it. Flip it. One, two, three. Miss Cindy, I bet Miss Tina can make that for you. A school bus with sunflowers? That would be very easy for her to do. And she does those customs. Right, Miss Paula? It's going to scream sunshine summer. Mm -hmm. See, I knew Miss Tina could do that. Miss Tina is over at Out in the Country, blanksandmore.com. She can do custom signs, so if you ever have any design that you want done up, just hit her up and she will get that made for you. 
Is that yellow a poly basket weave? No, Cindy, it's just a wide stripe mesh. Uh -oh. It doesn't have a name on it. It's just the generic deco poly mesh, but it was wide stripe is what the description said on the reshop. It's not got as big as hold as the basket weaves do, but it looks like that. We're up to 126. Ooh, 131. Come on, ladies, get them sprinkles out. 150. We're gonna do a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. One, two, three. Clip it. Flip it. One, two, three. Taquita rolls, not burrito rolls. Absolutely, Mustina. You sure can. I love that new Second Amendment song. Hello, Miss Linda. Welcome in. Hello, Miss Juanita from Ohio. I just forgot. Absolutely, you have questions. You know, questions are more than welcome here. We like questions. And it gives me something to talk about. No, Miss Annie, I did not. I used my trusty old rotary cutter. That's my favorite. I don't like that wood burner. I like my rotary cutter. Got a hold of some mesh that I made my rail with. That still ate my fingers. Uh oh, what kind of mesh was it, Miss Betty? Deco poly could be wood burn for some flower. Yes, it could, Miss Cindy. The only thing you can't wood burn is actual burlap. Everything else can be wood burn. Melissa is new from Indiana. Welcome, Melissa. Grab you a drink and pull up a chair and have a seat and hang out and chat with us. Everybody tell Miss Melissa hello. Welcome her in. Let me see, I have ever used a hot knife to cut your mess. No, ma'am, Miss Paula, I never have. Unless you're calling a hot knife the same thing as a wood burner. Then that I have, but only on poly burlap, not deco mesh. Where did I get the sun, Michelle? It came from Created by Mama on Etsy. And I have a discount code with Miss Chris over there. If you use discount code CHARMS, C-H-A-R-M-S, you get 10% off on her site. I do send out notifications, Miss Jessie. Make sure you got hit those three buttons, hit that follow button, and then turn on your notifications, and it will let you know when we go live. Hey, Miss Diana. Happy Monday, Miss Jamie. It was black label on it and just said mesh. Did it have any foil or anything in it, Betty? I wonder if it was a value mesh. Those are kind of rough. They're not as soft as some of the others. This one's very plasticky too. So this one would definitely be, be a good candidate for a wood burner. Hello, Michelle from Michigan. Welcome in. All right, we've got all 10 on the outside. Now we're going to move to the 8 on the inside. We're going to continue doing the same way, horizontal around the frame, into each Chanel stem. Thank you, Miss Linda. I appreciate that. Hello, Ruby. Welcome in. So who did something fun and exciting this weekend? Sharon from Oklahoma, welcome. Have we got anybody new? My name is Mindy and I'm in Halton City, Texas. I love to see all the new faces. 
know where everybody is from. I know Lorraine's over in Scotland. I haven't seen Sharon yet. Sharon's over in the UK. We got anybody else outside the US hanging out? Paula is new too. Everybody welcome Paula. I would say grab you a chair, but you're watching from your hospital room. Oh, I hope everything's okay, Miss Paula. Prayers for fast healing for whatever's got you in there. Hello, Sheila. Yes, Virgie's down in San Antonio. Ooh, we have to 145, ladies. Five more. Paula's in Rhode Island. Ooh, I think you may be the first Rhode Island, Miss Paula. Welcome, welcome. I was on call for work, so I just worked in Madrid. Well, sometimes that's good, too. Hopefully you didn't have any calls to go out on. Jesse's from... Let's go up. Mississippi. Yes, ma'am, Miss Jesse. I am glad you're here, too. Miss Betty's in Mississippi, too. Sharon had a birthday party for her granddaughter. Uh, let me get you the number, Angie. And then that will help you find it. It is R E eight nine zero zero two nine. That is the number on the white stripe. Item number is R E. Eight nine zero zero two nine. Yep, that's it. My pipe cleaners are every five inches apart on the outside for ten, and in the middle of each section on the inside for eight. So I have eight on the inside, ten on the outside. Hello, Sandy. Michelle is getting ready for a craft show soon. Well, good luck, Miss Michelle. When is your craft show? You made four this morning. Ooh, you were busy this morning, weren't you? Let me get this one in here, and I'll show you my placement. Yellow goes really, really fast, in Sanji. That's the placement of uh, my Chanel stems on the frame. If you can see them. I know they're hard to see. But if you need to take a picture, that's where they are. Have you tried um, Stephanie's Creations? She may have it. Craft Outlet. General Wholesale by Vivian. Hello, Pat. Welcome in. Dorothy, I am in Halton City, Texas, which is right outside of Fort Worth. Thank you, Pat, for sprinkling the charms. All right, Miss Tina. So who else could you try? Risa Joy. Risa Joy is another one you could try. Um, is that Mel's, Mel's Crafty Mojo. Deco Exchange. Those are all kinds of good places. White Bayou. You write that. I forgot about White Bayou. But yeah, that's what. No, that's not what I meant. White Bayou. Yes, Carlotta, it is a woodland ripple. Thanks, Amanda. You're welcome, Melissa. Hello, Dawn. Welcome in. Etsy, yep, yeah, Etsy's a good place for it. Don't pay more. I don't think I paid more than six bucks for it. So watch what you're paying for it because unless you just absolutely need to have it. Linda Jackson, first time watching. Awesome. Where are you watching from, Miss Linda? Thanks for coming in and hanging out. Everybody tell Linda hello. Welcome, welcome, my dukes. 
I hear you were live again. I will go back and watch the replay, my dear. How did your live go? Yay, Cindy. Got you, Miss Angie. Thank you for sprinkling the charms, my dudes. I appreciate that. Hello, Ruth. And one more, then we will move on to the orange. Oh, thank you, Miss Kimberly. I appreciate that. She did an amazing job. Way to go, my dukes. Carlotta, it's her first time watching. Where are you watching from, Carlotta? Everybody tell Carlotta hello. Welcome her in. You're the good Texas howdy. Awesome. Maybe I'm so glad to hear that. Congratulations, my dukes. I said your live went wonderful. Thank you, Connie, for sprinkling. Hello, Linda. Welcome, welcome. We have all kinds in here. We have those that have been doing wreaths for a while and those that are brand new at making them. So if you have any questions, please just shout it out. And I bet somebody will be able to answer it for you. So I read the dictionary in. I've never heard of that one. <clears throat> We're going to move to our orange. Kafko has two of them. Well, if you need this yellow, Miss Tina says she can get two of them. And that's OITC dot shop one. So again, we're going to do the whittle and ruffle, fold it in about an inch, roll it up three times, tight rolls like a taquito, not a burrito, tight rolls. One, two, three, flip it, flip it, absolutely, Miss Judy, one, two, three, I will show the sign in just one second, let me get this one out of my hand. Welcome, welcome, Miss Carol, it's quite all right. Dorothy's new to making wreaths. Awesome. So we're going to have another decision time here, ladies. Again, with the curls up, curls down. Carol, first time watching from Louisville, Kentucky. Welcome, Miss Carol. Everybody tell Carol hello. Welcome her in. So we're going to do, continue with our curls up. Because we're going poofy, as always. Yep, curls up. That's right. And then instead of going horizontal with our butterfly, we're going to go vertical. So it is another layer added on top. So we're not going to open our Chanel stem and release that yellow one under there. We're going to leave that Chanel stem tied. So now we're just going to place this orange one right on top. We're pressing it towards the frame and we're going to tighten our Chanel stem two times. These are just regular 12 inch Chanel stems from Hobby Lobby. One, two, three. Clip it with my pink clip, Cheyenne. One, two, three. Scrunch it right up the middle. Vicki Lynch, first time watching from Clarksville, Indiana, across the river from Louisville, Kentucky. Welcome, Miss Vicki. Everybody tell Vicki hello. So we're going to continue all the way around the outside with the same vertical woodland ruffle. Yes, Lorraine. Does not not scream summer? Hello. You got one of them dreary rainy days? Make an orange and yellow wreath. That'll give you some happy sunshine. Oh, I forgot to do my sign. Hang on, Miss Judy. I I did forget, but I remembered. So this is our sign. And it was created by Mama on Etsy. And we have a discount code for all you charmers. It is Mama10 for 10% dis off all of her signs.
Look at all them welcomes. Yo, ladies are so awesome. Thank you, Cindy. My husband had that made. Or he get, sent the picture to me for me to have it made. Is that not great? I've even got him to where he is now finding pictures on the internet that he likes. And he's like, ooh, you need to have a sign like this made. Ooh, we need to have a sign like this made. Yes, she does, Donna. You ordered from Mama this weekend? Awesome. It's orange foil, Pat. Or Cindy. It's orange and orange. Thank you, Miss Pat. How do you follow me? If you will hit the three buttons at the top of your screen, it'll bring you a drop-down bar. And on that drop-down bar, it gives you um, selections and hit follow this page. And then it also gives you the options to turn on the notifications. And if you turn on the notifications, it will send you a little bell chime when I go live every day. Thank you, Judy. My problem is I forget to, but never remember. Oh man. Uh, you will have to ask Miss Tina that, Kristen. I don't know. That would be a question for her. The only thing I ship are my wreaths, which is for sale if anybody's interested. It is available. And no, I still haven't come up with a name that I wanted for my website. You know, I've got the things sitting up there blinking at me. Just waiting for me to type it in. That's all I got to do. I don't know. It's okay, Kristen. We can say, <clears throat> Miss Tina. All right, Miss Lisa, have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for hopping by. Yes, ma'am. You called her? Oh, awesome, Kristen. She's a sweet, sweet lady to talk to. You got my first sign from on Saturday? Yes, Lisa. She is very, very fast. They were not as good as I wanted, Miss Carol. I wanted way more sales than what I got, but I can't complain too bad. I beat last year, so it wasn't my double numbers that I wanted, but I still beat it, so I'll take it. Yes, Lorraine, isn't it? Well, it would be really easy if uh, Mindy's Charms wasn't taken. Like, really? That's not out there anymore? Because I was just going to do that. But no. So now i got to figure out something else. What to add to it. What length are these cut out? Robin, they are cut at 19 inches. She said she was going to go make a phone call, Kristen. I don't know if she's back yet or not. Ooh, we're getting close to our... Scroll up, scroll down, giveaway. All right, we have gotten our 10 on the outside. Now we will move to the inside. Well, Tina, when we say our name, you need to pop right on and say, what can I help you with? I'm just kidding. She's going to be out there, you might, you know, might as well. Isn't it, Miss Linda? I love the orange and yellow together. The first sign my husband made, or didn't, I keep saying made. He's the one that sends me the pictures to send and have made. That I did with orange and yellow was this one. 
So that one is, it's 18 inch, Kristen. So that was the first one we did orange and yellow. He's got a thing about orange. Can you tell? I have 15 caddies ready to go. Woo -woo. Thank you, Helen. Good afternoon, Michelle. I sold eight, Miss Dorothy. Seven was the tie, eight was the beat, 16 was the goal. So, I didn't make my goal, but I beat my really real goal, which is beaten last year, so I can't blame it. All right, so now when we go to the inside, this is where we're going to um, do something a little different. We're going to reach under the bottom of this, and we're going to pull these yellows right up in between the orange. So you can see the yellow curls in between the orange curls. How much do I sell my wreaths for? They are 75. Does he ride a Harley? He wishes. That's his dream, is to have a Harley one day. Created by Mama, Michelle. I did, Miss Kristen. I commented on it. It was pretty darn cute. Cindy finally got her FT shop. Awesome. You go, girl. How much do I sell them for? Dorothy, 75. Jen and I both were commenting on your wreath there, Miss Kristen. Super cute with flip flops. I was going to do a popsicle wreath today. And then Miss Tina did a popsicle wreath this morning, so I had to do something different. Cindy, what is your Etsy shop name? So we can all go favorite it. Give it all of our love. No, Amanda does not. Shipping is extra. Because shipping keeps going up and up and up. I used to cover shipping with that. But now it can be anywhere from about $16 to $30 to ship a wreath depending on where it's going. So I have to add shipping on as an additional charge. Because if I did that, then... I wouldn't have any money to buy supplies to make another wreath. I agree, Kristen, it does. Mama Creative Thoughts on Etsy. Y'all go check her out. Mama Creative Thoughts. Shaylin sold her popsicle wreath this morning. Woo! Congratulations, Shailene. That's awesome. Hello, Shelly. How's it going? Faye's working on a bee wreath. Very, very cool. I love bees. I had somebody stop and Pick up one of my bee wreaths this weekend. That daughter had just opened a bee farm. And she had 40,000. 40, 40,000 Italian bees. I was like, oh boy. No, thank you. Carlin, first time ever. Welcome, Miss Carlin. Thank you so much for hanging out. Where are you watching from, Miss Carlin? Everybody tell Carlin hello. You sell the small ones for 25. Awesome. I just started doing cuts and signs with my cricket. I still haven't shipped anything yet. Just local. Get some free. Well, most people know they have to pay for shipping, Amanda. So it's not they won't say no. 
if they're really from out of state because they know they have to pay for shipping. And if you look on Etsy, 90% of the time, the wreaths that are 120, 130, say free shipping also. And that's all they're doing is they just up the price on the wreath to cover the shipping. Shelly, we are doing a cute little summer. Awesome, Michelle. Woo, woo. Awesome. Michelle made a sale. That's awesome. Jessica McDonald's new. Where are you work? Watch your from, Miss Jessica. Everybody tell Jessica hello. Oh, you're so welcome, Michelle. I am so excited for you. Thanks, Shelly. That's too, too cool, Michelle. Very proud of you. Good job. Right, looks like we've got all of our mesh on. We've got all 18 pieces in here. We've got our curls from the bottom to the top so that we can see both colors. So we've got yellow and orange. Look how cute that is. That just not bright. That doesn't scream summertime. Nothing does. Nothing, nothing. Shelly, the sign came from Created by Mama on Etsy. And we do have a discount code for Miss Chris. It is uh, Mama10 for 10% off your order. So we're going to do the polka dots and the polka dots and the black. I want to go in the black. And then we're going to do, let's do a solid yellow. I was going to do orange. Since I'm orange on top, I think I'll do solid yellow. Hello, Lynn. Welcome in. Mama Mindy's making wreaths. Well, that's a good one. Yes, Michelle, it is. Jessica's Michigan in the house. Welcome, welcome, Miss Jessica. I won't tell you what my husband would say about Michigan. I'll just say he's a Notre Dame fan, if that tells you anything. All right, we're going to use our 12-inch easy tails. These are from Miss Tina over at outinthecountryblanksomemore.com. And we have a discount code with her also. Um, it is CHARMS, C-H-A-R-M-S, and that will get you 15% off anything in her store. And that's out in the country, blanksandmore.com. Miss Tina, put in your website, please, ma'am. She has easy tails in all shapes and sizes. And this is an easiest way, if you have never used an easy tail before or a ribbon board, heaven, heaven. You get perfect tails in the same exact length every single time. So we're going to use four colors at 12 inches. So we need nine cuts of each. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you, Jacqueline. I'm so glad I helped you all guys along. Mindy's door charms. Ooh, I like that, Miss Betty. Once again, I... Oh, Kristen. No. You save you some money, honey. Thank you, Miss Tina. She has these easy tub boards. They are made of real wood. And they have these awesome slits in them where you don't even have to take your ribbons off the board to cut it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they also come with a hairband or a tie that goes around the, if you need it to put your hair up. I just use it as a bracelet. But it does come in handy if you have to run and 
check on a kiddo or go into the door or chase down the lovely puppy that you have and it's just dragging your husband's shoes all over the house or the blanket across the house three separate times a day and you need to set this down really quick. You just throw that tie on there, that band, like this. And it will hold your ribbons right in place. So it's pretty nifty. Three, right? Tell him to put his shoes away. Uh, exactly. So after I put them away, the puppy got the pillow. And then I put the pillow in the bedroom and shut the door. And then he got the blanket on the couch. Not once, not twice, but three times. Two, now it has to go in the wash. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, Rocky. Hello, Mitzi. Welcome in, my dear. He doesn't know how to leave stuff. Yes, Carol. It is. Right, Patricia? They just look at you with them eyes. And he's got these ice white eyes. And he just looks at you like, hmm, I'm too cute because of the black that's in the sun. So it's going to be that just a little pop because there's only going to be nine pieces in there. So it's just going to get that little mwah, piece of resistance. Three, four, five. And yes, Amanda, that is correct. When you got to chase down them toddlers and them puppies and you have to throw your easy tails down when you're right in the middle of it, just throw that band on there and then you can come back and pick up right where you were. And you don't have to start over. Thank you, Mitzi, for sprinkling the charms. I'm trying to get up to 150. If we get up to 150 viewers... We'll have a drawing, or not a scroll up, scroll down for a prize. You'll see, Miss Jessica. You'll see. It'll be really, really cute. I promise. Excuse me. I have to open my drink. Pop it up again. Probably black, Miss Brenda. You can change the sign out for a fall. Oh, yes, Beth. Absolutely. Do a candy corn in the fall with it. Now we are going to ducktail the ends of our ribbons. Yes, Miss Nikki. Uh, easy tails need to be in your life if you make wreaths. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Sprinkle the charms. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to take the ends where our wires are. We're going to meet them together. Hello, Danilyn. And we're going to go from the wire to the fold with the fold facing the ceiling. And we're going to cut at a 45 degree angle. And that will give you a perfect little dovetail. All right, Miss Sharon, we'll get you the confidence to dive in. We'll get you so hooked, you'll just have to do one. Oh, Miss Kristen is a one month subscriber. Woo woo! Thank you so much, Kristen, for your subscriber. We have fun in our show. I do have a subscriber group, it is $4.99 a month. And over there, we do um, wreath kits. We do um, make the wreaths together. 
And however long it takes for everybody to be on the same page doing the wreaths, we do that all together. So like last week we did our wreath kit and we got it halfway done. So we will finish up this Thursday. We do a Thursday night live just in the subscriber group. We hang out, we chat. We have had suggestions on doing all the different folds of mesh so that way everybody can learn how to do all the different folds. We're going to do all the different petals that you can do on a flower. So that's always a good way to come and ask questions. Yes, Nancy, it did mine too. On some of the ladies that I like to watch, I was having to turn them back on. Did that to Miss Tina this morning. I don't know why they do that. Like all of a sudden, poof, it's gone. And so we decided over in our subscriber group too that we're gonna do different types of wreaths on our monthly wreath kits. So this first one we did was a deco mesh wreath on the 18 inch frame, just like I do. And then next month we're gonna do a rail. You watch Miss Tina, awesome. We need to do a fold board that shows the end results of all the different folds. Oh yeah, that'll be cool, Kristen. How much are the wreath kits? The one we did with the deco mesh it was 45. I haven't got a price on this next one just because I haven't gotten the final pieces put together with it. But as soon as it puts together, I'm sure it probably won't be more than that. It will probably be less, actually. So it just depends on what we decide to do on how much the wreath kits are because I don't charge extra for a wreath kit. I just gather it all up and ship it out. So that way you guys will have it all in one box. But you just pay for the exact amount of product. That's it. Absolutely, Jacqueline, you sure can. You never knew Miss Tina went live? Yeah. So I said, if I hadn't went looking for her, I wouldn't have known either because I didn't get my notification at all. Have I ever made a mailbox swag with a pool noodle? No, ma'am, I sure have not. That's how I started out making wreaths in the very beginning was with pool noodles. Right, Cindy? Most pool noodle wreaths were not very pretty, I will admit. I thought I was being all crafty, right? You, ooh, I use a pool noodle. Mm. Mm -mm. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I don't know how to do it well, Miss Nancy. I quickly went to a wreath frame. That is for sure. We just got home with Phil still feeling blah. Oh, I hope you feel better, Miss Dandelion. You've never seen a pool noodle or a wreath made with a pool noodle. I say I show you, but I'm not showing that. That was pretty sad. All right, we're going to put our ribbons together now. And I put two 
personnel stem, so I have four two and a half inch ribbons. So I'm just going to pair them up together. And I don't want to do two yellow together, so that makes it an easy choice. We're going to do yellow and black and orange and yellow. So now we're just going to fold these in half. So that way we have our midpoint already found by the time we go to put them into our wreath. I have no clue, Betty. I don't think I've ever seen it done. It Maybe something we need to go search out. Let's see if there's any kind of tutorial or anything on a mailbox swag with a pull needle. First wreath in the 80s with dried flowers on grapevine. Yep. My mama was bringing me one of those dried flowers on a grapevine wreath to redo. She was like, I think this needs help. I was like, yeah, I think it is. I said, we're going to throw the whole thing away. And we're going to keep the cute little scarecrow on it. And start over and put him in it. How about that, Mom? So that's what we did. Could you imagine using dried flowers right now? How much they would be all over the place. Ooh, what a mess that would be. Hello, Miss Lisa. Welcome in. You're still trying to find out how to do the straw hat wreath? Are you trying to put the straw hat into the wreath? Or make the wreath on the straw hat? Hello, Miss Kathy. How's my troublemaker today? I haven't seen you all in a while. Where you been? So now we're going to look at the back of our wreath and we're going to find the two spots on the back of our wreath where we have two Chanel stems that are in a line. So we're going to pick one of those spots and that's where we're going to start our ribbons. So we're going to take the first set And where we have the crease in the ribbons, we're just going to scrunch it right up the middle. And put it right into our Chanel stem again. It's just another layer on top. So we're not going to open the Chanel stem up. We're just adding two. And then we're going to spread our ribbons in an X pattern, alternating between each color. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Unfortunately, there are some that don't like that. Can you believe that? How rude. So now we're going to take our second set. And we're going to scrunch it right up the middle. No, the straw hat is the wreath form. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't seen that one either, Miss Penny. Welcome back, Miss Cindy. I need to head out to get ready for physical therapy. Yes, ma'am, Miss Kathy, have a good therapy appointment. Do what he says. It's always better to do the work. Thank you, Pat. I'm going to look for the two snowstones because that's an easy place to start where you know when you're going to alternate and you're directly going to have the two ribbons right above each other because the rest of them, they're going to be kind of offset. But in this one spot, they are directly above each other. 
So I don't want to start with having the exact same pair of ribbons in that same location. So if I look for the one spot that has them together, that I know it's going to be exactly the same, I can start out as having opposites, and that way it'll be opposite around the whole wreath. Thank you, Miss Virgie. So we're just going to continue to go all around, do an opposite, and spreading our ribbons into an X, and just alternating between each pair of ribbons. Good afternoon, Miss Jenny. Hanging in there, working. Well, at least today's a good day for that, Miss Kathy. Get it done before the storms come in. If they show up, it threatened all weekend long and we still had no storms. I was listening to the news this morning and said some places could have up to like four inches of rain. That's going to be a lot of rain if we actually get that much. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Thanks, Jenny. And so that black is just going to give it that little something, something. Always like to have a little pop of color of something in there. It just goes, Mwah. Good afternoon, Miss Brenda. We got storms yesterday, Miss Dorothy. We're supposed to be getting them tonight. And then for the next day and a half. So they're supposed to come in tonight and then be here till Wednesday. So we'll see. But we're like I said, we were supposed to get them on Friday night and then on Saturday night, and we never got any. You never can tell. Thanks, Sharon. What if I put a dark tails in the flip flop wreath versus more mesh? Maybe. But that back of mesh was just very light and airy. To me, it seemed like it needed something just a little bit more. So that's why when she said a darker mesh, I was like, oh yeah, that probably would be pretty good. What's the sign look like? Thank you, Dorinda. Thanks, Renice. Just wanted to stop and say hi. Hello, Lisa. Thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate you coming by and saying hello. Amanda, bad, bad, bad words. We don't like YouTube around here. That's bad words. Thanks, Nancy. You look till you retired. That's the problem with YouTube. If nobody tells you who to watch, and what, what you search up exactly, there's five million videos that says of the different wreaths. Thanks, Sheila. Thank you, Lorraine. Yes, ma'am. Have a good night. Thank you for coming in. It's always funny somebody saying it's it's not time it's bedtime and i'm like it's two o'clock in the afternoon how's it bedtime it's always amazing yep right there and right there this is on the top this is on the outside so this is inside this is outside Same 
with this one. This is inside, this is outside. So they're alternating inside every other color and outside alternating every other color. But it looks like it's in the same, but it's not. When I hold it up, you'll be able to see the difference. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Yeah, I told you that black just gives it that little something, something. You feel the ring's pain? Your jet lag's still getting the best of you. So how was the trip, Miss Beth? Was it absolutely amazing? Amanda. Nancy went to Hobby Lobby and four three percent off. Yes, ma'am, Miss Nancy. How many baskets did you leave with? That would be my problem. I would take baskets and fill them up and buy them all. Did you get those crosses? I want the crosses. That's what I really want. Are those crosses. They are so cool. 12 inches, Miss Loopy. One basket. That's not bad. You did pretty good then, Miss Nancy. Mama 10 is the discount code for created by Mama. And then for Tina over at Out in the Country, blank some more, the discount code is CHARMS. C-H-A-R-M-S, and that gets you 15% off. And she just made it put some new signs on the site this weekend. Absolutely adorable ones. She made me a Second Amendment one. Which is Adorable. You're welcome. We're cleaning the countries are no highway trash eating well kind people. Awesome, Beth. I'm so glad you had an awesome trip. I placed an order this weekend. Woohoo! You didn't see the crosses? Oh man. Most of the patriotic is gone already, really? That stinks. You got to look them up online and see if you can see the patriotic classes. They are so cool. There was, was a whole bunch of mine. There may not be now. But there was a whole bunch. Did they have the uh, burlap with the red, white, and blue mesh this time? I know they had it last year. It was that brown jute. And it had the red and blue foil in it. I need some of that, too. This is what we look like with the ribbons in. Yes, they did. Oh, great. See how that black just gives that little... Mm. And then you can see where we've alternated. Orange, black, orange, black, orange, black. On the inside. And then we've alternated all around the outside with our ribbons. And now we're going to put our hot glue on our cable mounts. And I use the Gorilla Glue sticks. I just get them from Amazon. You can buy four bags. Because I'm addicted to Amazon because they'll deliver it to my door. Sick. Street. 
How long did I cut my mesh? 19 inches long. How do you keep the pipe cleaners from getting all stuck to your mesh? I put the sign on top of everything. This is going to be a round sign, so it's going to be on the side. I like to put my round signs on this one side and put a bows on the other side. And I don't have any trouble with keeping the pipe cleaners from getting stuck because I always keep them right in the middle of each little bin individual section that you're working on. So just keep them pulled right up in the middle and they shouldn't get stuck on your mesh. Welcome back, Miss Dawn. Tell them not to uh, interrupt your live meetings. Tell them you're in the meeting. Say sorry, in a meeting. Can't answer your phone call. Thank you, Miss Sheila. Hold it closer to the camera. Absolutely. It's not close enough to read. Absolutely. Let's see if that works. Up a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Is that better? Nope. How about this way? No, I think I need to go that way with it. I always think I have it in front of the camera and it's never the right way. I went the wrong way again, didn't I? See? Sunrise, sunburn, set, set, repeat. There. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Got another customer order for Chicago Bears. Can't find the Chicago Bears signs. Well, technically, you're not supposed to use the Chicago Bears logo. It is a no-no to do any trademark copyrighted items. You can get in trouble for that. Thank you. Now, you can do the colors, or you can do something artistically done. But you can't do anything that's copyrighted. Absolutely, she can, Miss Nancy. And make sure you use the code CHARMS and get you 15% off that. So it's out in the country, blanksandmore.com. And she does all kinds of custom orders. So we're going to make our little bow tie. 17 inches, if you need to know inches. You're welcome, Sheila. Did you get to see it? <laughs> so you would think my camera's right there that I would be able to hold it in front of it, right? No, I can't. Oh, yes, Miss Cindy, you can't do anything trademarked and sell it and make a profit off of it without getting their written permission that costs thousands of dollars. So we're going to add this tubing as another layer right into our Chanel stem. And then we're going to add our styrofoam glitter balls. These are just glitter blasted little styrofoam balls. These go right on the ends of our Chanel stems. We just poke that wire right into the middle. And then I bend them down back in two so it hides that Chanel stem in there. You're welcome, Miss Cindy. Yep, correct, Miss Beth. That's a big no-no. I mean, they will sue you, shut down your shop, take it away, and all kinds of goodies. Okay, good, Sheila. Miss Tina was showing us this morning. I know somebody asked me about an easier way to do that little cute little bow tie. Her daughter, Christina, makes Reese every once in a while. And so she came up with this idea. If you take the two ends 
and overlap it together like that and then just take one side of the loop to the other side there's your cute little bow tie so that's an easier way to make that bow tie instead of doing the loop and loop like I do instead of doing it like that you can do it just by taking the ends overlapping them together and squishing it together and I forgot all about Miss Christina doing it that way until Miss Tina did it this morning and I was like oh yeah there's a good answer for how to make the loops easier Yeah, as long as it's not their exact logo, you, you'll be fine. But if you use their exact logo, then you're not going to be fine. You know, something that just says bears and their colors, that would be okay. But you can't have Chicago bears and then their little logo that they have. Very welcome, Miss Cindy. And yes, lots and lots of people do it, but I'm not one to take that chance because I would be the one that got caught. And I'm just getting my business going. I don't want it to be shut down. Well, that's compliments of Mr. Damon's knowledge. I've heard him say many a times that you cannot do copyrighted trademarked items. So like a Harley, you can't do a Harley Davidson logo, but you can do a motorcycle on a sign that says enjoy the ride or okay, I've got this one. So you can do something like that and then do it on an, an orange and black so it's still Harley colors but it doesn't say Harley Davidson on the sign. I could do a stuff bear and add a helmet and a football. Yep, exactly. Illusion is great, just don't say the words. Went on with Chris. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, baby Carter. No, nope, no baby Carter. Okay, fine. I still have to say the 30th. That's my number. That was my husband's son that he had made too. He went crazy this last time. My last order was all his stuff. So if you need manly signs, I'm sure you what what he thought was really cool. Hello, Amanda. How are you this afternoon? Hello, Lori. Welcome, welcome.
My husband is not one to mince words. At all. So if you join us on Friday night, you get to hear him in his loud mouth. He likes to express his feeling very, very vocally. But he can pick out some cool signs. So that's good, right? Good afternoon, Tina. How's everybody that's just popping on doing this wonderful Monday afternoon? Thank you so much for joining. I've been making personalized stuff for years, and you cannot use trademark stuff at all. Ten thousand dollar fine. I know it. Was, I knew it was a big dollar fine. Ten thousand dollars. Woo! Yep, they'll shut down your shop and everything. He's funny, still waiting for. He says, uh, "Keep holding your breath. He ain't doing it." I could talk Austin into doing one quicker than I could talk him into doing it. I better get a boat. Mm. Listen, I, I don't see that happening at all. I said, oh, you know, you love to do it. You like to be a ham? He's like, uh, no. It's not happening. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll eventually wear him out. We'll wear him down. He'll do it. What are they? They are black styrofoam glitter balls, Miss Teresa. I get them from the Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Or when my wonderful, wonderful people bring them to me. Thank you, Miss Connie. Thank you, Miss Connie. She has brought me bags of glitter balls. But they are just a styrofoam ball that has been glitter blasted. And so they're not squishy and they just stick right down onto the Chanel stems. Stephanie's easy toes have shipped. Woo -woo. Yep, they stay very, very well. I've had them out in lots of wind and they do not come off. You don't have to glue them. Hot glue would just melt them, but you could do, you know, like a, a regular Elmer's glue or something. But you don't have to glue them. They stay on in and out of bags, in and out of cars. I don't ever have them come off. Connie, you're amazing. So look, my bag is getting thin. That way you can. <laughs> we may could talk him into it that way, maybe. Then I'd have to do something I didn't want to do if I made a bet with him. Because then he would do it just to say he did it. And he would definitely come up with something I didn't want to do. Tell him we will bombard his Facebook. <laughs> go, Sharon. Go, Sharon. Go get him. Go get him. Hey, po he's, he gets on the page all the time. You can get his Facebook. That is what we look like with our tubing and our glitter balls. Any suggestions where I can buy pink and purple, purple glitter mesh tubing? Pink and purple, uh, papermart.com. They have pink and purple. 
I've seen it. And Dollar Tree has pink right now. I don't know about purple, but I know they have pink at the Dollar Tree. Alan has some pink and purple mesh at OITC dot shop. There you go. One stop shop with OITC dot shop. Thank you, Miss Sandy. I hope you were saying it's pretty and not questioning if it's pretty or not. Just kidding. Now we're going to put our Nelsons in our sign. And we use yellow. Thank you, Miss Connie. Oh, girl. Awesome, Stephanie. Thank you so much. I am so glad. I've seen pink and purple at Dollar Tree. I, I just can't remember if purple was out right now or not. I know pink is. I remember seeing pink when I was there the other day. I don't remember seeing purple. But, well, there you go. Miss Kim says they do. Connie says they do. So, Dollar Tree would be my first stop. And then if you couldn't find it, you can order it online. You can buy it in a case of 36. And then if you still can't get it there, then I would go to Paper Mart and get the four or the eight millimeter. Getting the river. Ooh, go Stephanie. Okay, thank you, Cindy. That kind of looked like, well, I'm hoping you're saying it was pretty and not you're thinking about it. All right, we are going to do a 36 bags only uh, in a case. Yeah, I think it's like six of each color. So, I mean, it's really not a bag. It's 36 bags, but I think it's six of each color, and there's six colors in there. So, you're only getting six. All right, so, our sign's going on the side. So my bow's gonna go on the side. So I'm gonna want a 12 inch tail. And if you're ordering from oh uh at the country blank some more dot com, do not forget your discount code of charms for 15% off. And we're doing a six inch loop. We're gonna make our cherry bow. So we've got a six inch loop, and we're gonna work in the four corners of our bow. And we're gonna alternate tails and loops. So we're going to do a six inch loop on this side and it's going to go in the up cor corner. And then we're going to do a six inch tail in the other corner. I have not ordered the deco mesh from Paper Mart, just the tubing. I have ordered deco mesh from BB Craft, but not Paper Mart. Your Dollar Tree had it in Missouri, awesome. Red and green tubing, yes. I went and bought all the tubing when you sent me there on Friday. I went and bought all the green tubing that was in my Dollar Tree. So I will have it for our next month's um, reef kit. Now we're going to do. So now we're going to alternate. So we've got a tail, a loop, a tail, and a loop. So I always start on the right side of the bow because I'm right-handed, so it's always my dominant side. So I start on the right. And wherever I, I always start with the tail. So since I alternate, my tail was here first, so my tail's going to go up here first. So we've got our six-inch tail, and it's up in the top corner. And then we're going to go down a loop, or an inch on the loop. So we've got a five-inch loop. It's going to go in the top corner. And then we're going to go with a five inch loop on the other side and it goes in the bottom corner. And then we have our 10, 12 inch tail in the other corner. So again, you're just alternating. We had a loop, now we have a tail. We had a tail, now we have a loop. So back and forth between loops and tails. Now let's do the yellow dot. Actually, let's do the orange polka dot. I don't want the yellow tails together. 
So all right, we need a tail starting on this side. So the last ribbon's tail is up top. This ribbon is gonna be on the bottom. So we need that 12 inch tail. And then we need a four inch loop. And it's gonna come down. And then we have a four inch loop on this side. And it's gonna go up. And then we have our six inch tail on this side. And it's going to go in the top corner. So you're playing four corners with your bow. So you divide your bow maker in half and in half for your four corners. It takes you a while to measure and twist and fluff. Until you're comfortable with it, yep, it will. And once you do about seven, eight a day, you get the hang of it. It'll all come with these. We got our four inch loop. So we started with our tail up top and we've got a loop going down. We've got our loop going up and we have our tail coming down. So we have four two and a half inch ribbons and it's the same ribbons that we used in our wreath. I always like to use the same. A lot of people like to do different. I'm just a matchy matchy like that that I like to do the same. So now I'm going to pull in a one and a half for my top ribbon and we're going to do the 12 inch tail and we'll do a loop and it's a three inch loop and it stays right directly in the middle and a three inch loop and it comes down because it's my top ribbon that's the end of my bow with that one so it gets both tails coming down to look even on the front We're going to grab the Chanel stew. We're going to push down in the middle. And we're going to reach our fingers back there and pull up those ribbons a little at a time until we make sure you got your fingers all up underneath the, all those ribbons. So make sure you're grabbing them all at one time. And then in your indentions that you have in here is where your Chanel stems are going to go. And then just kind of lift your thumb up a little bit. Pull the Chanel stem to the back and wrap your ribbons. Hold your Chanel stem tight in one hand, but wrap your ribbons with the other. And then we're going to dovetail the ends. First thing I do is make sure my three inch loops on the front are even. Sometimes they will get uneven. See, it's a little uneven there. Just pull it, make it even. And then I grab the two of the one and a half and I dovetail them together at the same time. That way I know they're the exactly the same length. And then we're gonna dovetail all the rest of them. It's just about getting time for a new pair of scissors. I hear sirens out there. One, two, three, four. And now we're just going to fluff, straighten, whatever you want to call it. See how it's kind of flattened out here? So we're just going to move these back around to the corners where we place them to begin with. So we're putting them back into our four corners. And then I just fluff the tails up front. Just kind of pop them out a little bit with that wire. I always, always use wired ribbon. And then I make sure the middle of that bow is closed. And then kind of fold those loops back to hide that Chanel stem. Because I cannot make that one loop look beautiful like some of the other creators, Amanda's bow. 
is beautiful and she does that one loop, I cannot get mine to look like that. So I do it with the double loop. And that's our cute little bow. Now we're gonna put all the pieces together. Thanks, Virgie. I like making bows. So now we're gonna grab our darning needle. Thank you, Miss Cindy. You can get that in the yarn section. And this just helps us get our Chanel stems through the mesh without fighting it. So just thread that Chanel stem through the eye of that needle. And then you just take it and run it from place your sign where you want it. And then run your darning needle right down the middle of that mesh. So that sign stays. Aw, thank you, Miss Mindy. I appreciate that. Thank you, Miss Betty. And you just take it right straight down through the middle. Out through the end. Voila! So easy. Easy peasy. Now I just take my Chanel stem and wrap it around the nearest bracket, whether it's a bracket that we've made with the Chanel stem or the bracket of the actual wire frame, whatever's closest. And I just weave it back and forth on both sides of it. That way it stays in place. And again, same thing on this side. Thank you, Miss Nancy. I would love to have you. Evelyn, you fell asleep. Am I that boring? Oh, you fell asleep on me. Surely I'm not that boring. You're going to give me a complex. You fall asleep on me. Now I'm just going to grab a piece of ribbon. And I may use that as a my hanger on the back of the wreath. Find the middle of our wreath. I think it's going to be a bit over here. And that's where we're going to put our hanger. Just tie it in a knot and a knot. And then I wrap it around the frame through the ribbon, around the frame, through the ribbons, and then just tie it. And I usually just use a piece that matches my design. And then we're going to add our shower cutting holder. That's for putting it on my displays at our craft shows. And then we're going to add our business card. Stock. You need to always brand your product. That way everybody will know how to get a hold of you and get you in touch when they want another one. Because you know they'll be addicted. You fell asleep before, so I, oh, okay. Whew, that makes me feel better. I hope you had a good nap then. Where did I get my business cards? This to print.
you're always running some kind of sale, so wait for them to have like a 40, 50 percent off sale on the business cards. And I got a thousand for like 20 bucks or something. They were really, really cheap. How many times do you put? How many ties, Robin? There's 18 on this one. Now we're gonna add our bow. I forgot my curtain hangers. So zip tied. Hey, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. And that's why I put my hangers on them right now, Miss Betty. Because if I don't, I'll forget and I won't have any with me and I will be right there with you. So that's why I put them on at this step right now. Now for the bow, I just wrap it around the middle bar of the wreath. And just twist it around. And then I also take it to the nearest bracket and wrap it around that one. You will once you start doing them more often, Miss Betty. Make sure your bows and your tails and your loops are fluffed and not flat. Pop your tails. That's what I call popping your tails. Kind of bend them outward so they kind of fluff out. And there's your beauty for today. And it is available if anybody's interested. Cute, cute. Your son made you a business cards. Awesome, Nancy. Very, very cool. I'm not good enough to do that, so I have somebody else to do it. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that. So now do we think... Yes, Miss Betty, you're going to keep trying. You cannot do one and done. That's awesome, Miss Robin. That is the reason why, Miss Robin, why I'm doing a live. Because in one of a couple of groups that I was in, wreath making groups, I got very tired of seeing the answer to questions as go watch YouTube. Go look on YouTube. That's how I got started. Go watch YouTube. There are millions of videos on YouTube. Absolutely millions. And nobody would say who to watch on YouTube, what method to look for on YouTube, like, you know, go look for the woodland ruffle method on YouTube, or go look for the folded ruffle, or go look for the Star Trek pedal. They just said, go look. And I finally got really, really aggravated with it one day and decided I needed to go live. And... That was my inspiration for going live right there is because I got tired of nobody answering any questions. And then in some of the lives that I watched also, that I had been watching for a year or so, be ignored. Even though I was there from the pretty much like the beginning of theirs. And when they just, just got started and... You know, you would, you would type hello, you would type an answer, you would type a funny and not get any response whatsoever. You know, it hurts your feelings. You kind of don't want to go back and go watch, right? So that's one of the main reasons why I make sure I greet everybody that comes in. Because you know what? We all want to feel acknowledged. I may not hit every question on here. I'm just one person reading these comments. So I absolutely try to watch them all and work at the same time because we still get all those comments saying, uh, will you just get on with the show? My time's valuable and I don't want to listen to you say hello to everybody. I've got those comments too. So that's why we're here. That's why this came. 
You had one say that yesterday, Robin. You don't watch them anymore, Cindy? Yep, that's how it is. That's how they do you, PJ. And that's why we want everybody here is absolutely 100% welcome. And we want the questions. I welcome the questions. I encourage you to please ask your questions. And if I haven't seen it, ask it again. And I encourage everybody else here that if you know how to make wreaths and you enjoy doing it and you can answer somebody's questions, please answer them. We all need answers to our questions because you know what? You got to know and understand what you're doing in order to make it. I'm that way. I had a, uh, I gave this example one time where I had a, an algebra teacher. I didn't understand how to do something and I went and asked the questions and she told me, you don't have to understand it, just do it. I'm like, mm, I can't do it if I don't understand it. And I don't like that. So here we are. You're welcome, Miss Carlin. That was the first, really, I am so sorry, but I am so glad you're here with us and please come back and visit. We would love for you to come back and hang out with us. Isn't that Miss Dorothy? It is rude. And I agree, it's rude. And I, and I know I don't hit every comment and I know I don't answer every question, but I sure try. And I am very, very willing, if you still have a question after I'm done going live, send me a message. I'll answer your question. Why not? We're all here to learn. And you know what? You teach me just as well too. Because you have some knowledge of things that I don't have. There are a couple ladies, Cindy, um, Ka uh, Kim, they do those flower petals. I don't know how to do those very well. I'm just learning to do those. And they help me learn how to do that. So, you know, so sometimes I'm like, mm, we're, don't make fun of me. We're going to try this and here we go, you know. But you know what? If I don't do it, somebody's not going to know. And that's why we're here. Woo -woo. I love it here. Absolutely, I talked to you, Miss Sharon, from the UK. I love to have you here. I was recently told that they would not share how they do wreaths unless you pay for classes. Mm, that's sad, Cindy. I do have a paid subscription group. Yes, I do have that also, and we do have fun in there, but you know what? That's more of a one-on-one -on -one type thing, so if you have you know, individual questions, but then we also do the wreath kits, we just hang out and have a good time and not do anything but talk. But uh, you know, I do have that, but that's not the main focus of it is to pay me to learn. That's just a support of me and doing these lives. And then I can help you. You're welcome, PJ. How often do I go live? Jesse, I go Monday through Thursday at 1.30 Central Standard Time. And then 8 p.m. on Friday nights. Absolutely, Miss Betty. We love and welcome everybody. And they will only answer if you are in a special group. Yep, Miss Janice, I've seen that before. You're welcome, Miss Betty. Absolutely, my dukes. We all learn from each other. You're welcome, Robin. I don't like for anybody to be mean to me. I don't want to be mean. Thanks, Judy. I try. You're welcome, Miss Amanda. You're welcome, Miss Dorothy. Absolutely go live. We do support. We have a great group that does support each and everybody. Reese and wine. There you go, Dorothy. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, Miss Janice. All right, ladies, I got to run. I've got to go pick up the kiddo from school. Don't forget to hit that follow button. Let's get us up there to those 3,000 followers. Woo -hoo. And thanks for trying to get us up to 150 today. We didn't make it. But we did try, and I do appreciate that 100%. And we will see you ladies tomorrow at 1.30 Central Standard Time. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Everybody stay blessed. Thanks again. Bye-bye.
Omega, you just got back from Hobby Lobby. Ooh, you have to share with me your loot. Share with me the goodies. Goodbye, Miss Tina. We'll talk later. Bye, Miss Betty.